How do you get your bride-to-be to agree to a kilted wedding? I've been struggling with this for quite some time. He says for a while, but I say quite some time. I don't know if he's since now married and the wedding is no longer an issue, or if the wedding has been called off because he wouldn't budge on the kilt thing. But yeah, how do I... you get your bride-to-be to agree to kilts in the wedding if she's not on board yet? The... Uh, uh... I used to have a, a phrase that you know a marriage should be 50 50 um, and one of our uh, one of I believe it was one of our moderators a friend of ours um, said no a marriage isn't a 50 50 a marriage is a hundred a hundred you should do everything in your power uh, I thought I found that very sweet and very you know honest way to go about looking at a marriage sure. you do everything you can to make the, the the life better of your partner and then they should do the same for you um, so in in some ways I'm I'm torn on this answer. I'm always torn on it when a guy says, I want to wear a kilt for my wedding, but my wife won't allow me. Do you compromise? Do you just say, fine, hun, I won't wear it? Or do you dig your heels in and say, no, this isn't just your day. It's mine as well. I'm not going to be walked on. I'm going to do what I want to do too, not just what you want us to do. It's a delicate one. It depends on the situation. And I, like I always say, it, it'll start with very, very clear, concise open, honest communication. Um, if they don't know why you want to wear it, if they don't understand what it means to you, if um, are they're going to be more concerned about it, so make sure that hurdle is, is, is crossed. Um, and you want to know from them, what is their objection? Is their objection that they don't like it, or is it that my dad thinks that kilts are weird, so my dad is not going to like it? if you wear your kilt to the wedding. Um, find out where that objection is and then deal with that head on, but you don't know what you're fighting until you know what you're fighting. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, speaking from the showroom floor, and I know you know this too, but I've, I've, I've had occasions where we've had a couple come in and the bride-to-be adamantly had a vision for the wedding. And they tend to be very fashion conscious people. Is my is my takeaway? Is yeah. my takeaway a very subjective opinion of mine? But um, that you know they're very concerned with making sure that everything matches a trendy vision they have. Usually a, a higher class kind of a vision they have based on like wedding magazines and whatnot. And they have this aesthetic for this this for the occasion in mind, and they don't want deviation. And when it's been a happy ending, what's happened is there's been a compromise. For instance, like we did a, we did one a while back where she did agree to have him in his kilt under duress. She really was not happy about it. And the compromise was that the groomsmen were all going to wear regular suits, but have a tartan tie, have tartan neckties. So they would be picture perfect and, and matchy matchy uh, for the aesthetic she was looking for. Now it was an even happier ending because once, once they came back a few months later to pick up the kilt and she actually saw him in it, she was like, okay, you were right. That looks fantastic. I love it. I was wrong. There are other occasions where they have been on the fence, but they've been very worried about their family. Um, and I, that's dicey for the bride because, I mean, a lot, it, this is a big deal, and it's a big deal for her parents also. And there have definitely been occasions where we've had, you know, she's like, I know you want to do it, honey, but I don't know what my dad's going to say. He doesn't think that a man should wear a skirt. You know, if they're coming from that kind of background, a non-Celtic background or a very conservative background or something like that, that's the hardest one. I think that that can be yeah, the hardest one. Yeah. And then and then they have to team up. The bride and the groom both have to basically have you that meeting. Get on meeting. the same page. Like you're saying, yeah. they got to have that meeting in the minds and they got to say, okay, how do we, do we want this to be nice for them or do we want this to be perfect for us? I would, and I then would. We have, then we have a friend, Ron, who had, who had people refuse to come to the wedding. Because he was going to be in a kilt, and the groomsmen were all going to be kilted, and 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 a part of the family just said, "We're not coming." You you can't save narrow-minded people from themselves. Sometimes, um, what I will back to the other point about the 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 bride, and if if it's the bride's parents or you know yeah the bride's parents who are concerned about it. You know, traditionally, not that this is really done all that much anymore, but traditionally looking at it, if the bride's parents are paying for the wedding, then. Uh, you're kind of a little stuck with taking their input because ultimately they're the ones footing the bill. Or you refuse their money. 
Correct. Yeah. The only other option is if you want to stand on your own two feet and you want to make your own decisions, you can't be beholden to someone else's purse strings. Um, so my other, that's kind of where I'm going with it is if my, if I am paying for the wedding myself, then, or, you know, with my, with my bride, um, then I would say, well, this is our wedding. We're paying for it. I understand your parents don't like it, but you're marrying me and this is our day together and I am going to be in your family and they have to accept me not just, and I have to accept them simultaneously. Like we, we all need to get on the same page here. Yeah. And if they have that big of an issue with it, maybe we should all talk about it then because it really is something that I want to do. You wouldn't want me telling you what style wedding dress to wear, would you? Do you want me to have all that much input with what the bridesmaids are going to wear? Probably not, because you have your vision of how you want it to be. All I want is this thing. Um, yeah. So that's generally how I go at it, but that's me. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, my wife and I were in total agreement on everything we wanted for both yeah. sides. Yeah. But we're both history nerds, so we were, <laughs> we were already on the page, same page from the get-go. Yeah, um, when, when, I, when I got married, and you know, even when we you know, designed our house, it was... I had certain things that were very, very important to me. And luckily as well, Kelly and I were on the same page with 99% of stuff. Um, or if we weren't, I would kind of judge, okay, how much does this decision mean to me versus what does it look like it means to her? And if she really, really wants a certain centerpiece on the table, and I'm like, they're flowers. As long as they ain't dead, I'm fine. Um, yeah. Then it's not a battle I want to you know, dig my heels in. Yeah, really. Fight. Like, What hill do you want to die on? Is kind of I mean it's it in the final analysis this is about joining two people together and it's about the people, so it's an interesting test poten potentially. You know, your married like, life is going to be it's, like. It's, it's <laughs> like here's your marriage count. Here's your pre pre marriage uh, counseling session. You know, it's all about the kilt. Yeah. Um, we but, can give you debate tactics and negotiation right. tactics, but <laughs> you're you're the one living with this person for the rest of in theory for the rest of your life. Right. right. So. Make sure that you know you're on the same page and you have that communication. Yeah. Yeah. Compromise is not a dirty word, but but full communication is absolutely necessary. If you so. have any relationship questions, send them to us. Eric and I will destroy any chance you have of happy marriage. <laughs> Fine. Because freedom. Yeah. That's, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Don't listen to us. Um, but good luck with the wedding. Yes, indeed.